How's it going? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be my review for The Banshees of Inna Sheeran. So, this movie is set in a sort of reserved island in Ireland, and it's a drama film about a failing friendship. This movie is kind of a dark comedy. Uh, the film is very emotional at certain moments, but also absolutely hilarious at other times. And I think the blending here that's done by Martin McDonough is very, very well done. I feel like the whole script and his direction and the way that the characters go with everything is so tightly packed in in such a great way that the film manages to not feel like it's cheapening moments when it's funny, but it's just kind of real because in real life, there are things that are depressing or sad that you can still find comedic moments coming out of them. And Mark McDonough's other films that I've been a big fan of is In Bruges and Three Billboards. In Bruges kind of also was a dark comedy, not as much Three Billboards, but I have been a big fan of Martin McDonough's previous work, especially those two. I think that he's a great director, and what he's continued to do is bring in these different types of films that sort of make you think about things, but also are very fun to watch. And another person he's frequently collabed with has been Colin Farrell, who's in the lead role of this film. And I think Colin Farrell gives one of the best performances that I've seen all year. He plays this kind of tragic character who just desperately wants to find out why Brendan Gleeson's character no longer wants to talk to him. He's very dependent on other people. And I think that it's just an easy character to sympathize with. And Colin Farrell plays him very well. And he also doesn't come off as whiny, which you'd kind of think that he might. But rather, he just comes off as a real person in this real scenario that is very small scale in the world. But obviously is going to have a lot of effect on him. And Brendan Gleeson is very reserved here but i think that he does a great job he manages to show his anger with colin farrell very well with also this calm presence and carrie cundin's good in this and yeah i just think that the whole cast in terms uh when you round it all out including barry keoghan who i am increasingly becoming a bigger fan of i think everybody does their roles very well Originally, I wasn't very interested in this small-scale storyline. I actually hadn't seen any trailers before I came into this movie, and I came out really enjoying it. The stakes get increasingly higher throughout the movie. That's where a lot of the dark comedy comes from, is the way that things continue to just spike out of proportion just from these two friends no longer being friends. And I think it's just a really good script and the pacing is really great here in the way that they handle everything. It just is really entertaining throughout the whole thing when really there's n it has no right to be this entertaining. You wouldn't expect most people to be able to sit through this whole movie. You'd expect it to be maybe a little bit boring, but it really never gets boring throughout this whole movie. I think that this movie is wildly entertaining and the cinematography and score as well are very reserved. But I think that's a good thing. Not everything has to have an epic, epic proportions to it. I think that The Banshees of Inisherin is one of the best movies of the year. And I'd highly recommend everyone go see it. It's fun. It's emotional. I think that it is one of the clear bests of the year. And I think it still will be in my top 10 by the end of the year. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I'd recommend all of you watch it. And if you have seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.